Hi, my name is Turk, and this is Bounty Thursdays. And this week's episode is sponsored by Integrity. So this week's definitely looks like it's all about the money. <laughs> We're in the aftermath of H1 2004 and Versacon, and both those events were extremely um, profitable in, in many ways. Uh, a lot of hackers chipped in to, uh, to fund and uh, to help uh, Nahamsek and CyberMentor's quest to fight cancer which was awesome, it was such a great event. H1 2004, I think the bounty payout stopped somewhere around $600,000 in payout. And we talked about this last time, it seems like more and more researchers down with the pandemic going on are focusing on hacking and getting into programs like HackerOne. And it really, really pays off. In just the last six days, um, HackerOne apparently paid out $2.4 million just in bounty. Um, so, so welcome, welcome to the world of bounties, everyone that's new to this. Also, Bugcrowd has shown record growth and secured another 30 million to help build their business forward, which is totally cool because those guys are aggressively hiring pen testers at the moment. We got both Codingo, Hackluke, and now latest addition is Vortex that's joining the Bugcrowd uh, team. So that's definitely something to look out for. But it's not all about money, right? It's also about learning and a lot of cool, fun stuff. So uh, CTF challenges, or let's see, Adam Langley has dropped another really cool challenge. Uh, I haven't tried it out yet, but me and Ben did one of Adam's challenges the other day and over at Twitch and it was really, really, really fun. I definitely re recommend checking CTF challenges out if you haven't done it. It's very, 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 uh, real world scenarios when it comes to bounty hunting. None of that secret stenography stuff. It's, it's definitely just hacking web, finding SQL eyes and uh, access privileges and, and a lot of cool stuff. It includes recon as well. So I definitely do check those out. Speaking of challenges, Integrity just dropped another challenge. And it's always so fun to see the community is trying to break in these challenges down. And it's hard. It's I've, I've, I've been I've been poking at it, and me as a non XXS person really struggles. But it's really 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 fun, and I think it's about ten people already that already solved it. So go head over to challenge.integrity.io and just start getting that one. The winner do get a year subscription of Burp, so that's that's a good idea. Speaking of Burp, one of my absolute favorite tools when it comes to building my own automation tasks and, uh, and building scanners, Burp Bounty just came out in a new release. What's really nice about this tool is that if you don't like to uh, use the internal scanner in Burp or you want to add some of your own flair to it, there's a lot of cool automation that's made possible through this tool set. So what you actually do is that you're, you're defining the way that you your scanner to look uh, look like and what it, what you want it to look for and then eventually you know you can get your custom error messages coming back and such so it's very 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 useful oh yeah yeah here it is it's up to version 310 now with 12 fixes from github better performance for the match algorithm path discovery option has been improved and profiles are now adapted for a new version because there's a community around this tool where you're able to download uh, payloads or, or, or profiles that has been designed by other hackers or pen testers so you can just adapt on those it's, it's really 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 cool big shout out to uh, Vagrio for for bringing that into the community love it love it check it out so right of the week has to be F Secure Labs newest edition and I'm just gonna read straight out of it uh, at Mobile Pwn to Own 2019, F-Secure Labs successfully exploited the Xiaomi M 
MI9 using two different exploit chains. An attacker could use uh, these to install application and access sensitive information from a phone that either browsed an attacker's website or scan an NFC tag. Both chains exploit the vulnerabilities in the Xiaomi Market Store get apps in order to gain remote code execution by installing and launching a download APK. The get app store is installed on an MI9 phone set up for Chinese, Russian, and separate Asian markets. These two vulnerabilities were blah blah blah. It's just a really, really cool write up. You should definitely check that out. Primarily because the way that they're one of the parts in there where they're exfiltrating via the SMS application is really cool. Check it out. It's, it's, it's a little bit over my head, but way, it's a cool write up. I would say that's about it for this week. So <laughs> until next one, go get some bugs.